day five and it's also our last day in Tokyo. As I was saying in my last video, I got super sunburnt, which is why I'm wearing this hoodie. And it really hurts and it sucks because I'm supposed to be getting a tattoo today at noon. And I had a whole plan to get it on my like left side upper arm part, like right here. But I'm so sunburnt that I probably can't do it there and I'm gonna have to switch the location. So I'll probably do it on my left lower thigh calf area. Cause I was looking it up and they, it says most tattoo artists don't tattoo you if you're sunburnt. So that's shitty. I don't wanna wear this hoodie all day because I feel like it's gonna be hot, but also I need to cover up my shoulders or else they're just gonna get worse and they already really hurt. So I kind of wanna go to Don Quixote and see maybe if they have like a zip up jacket or like a long sleeve shirt or just like something. So yeah. But last night I went to the Shinokubo area where we're staying and did a bit of shopping because I wanted to get K-pop stuff but everything closed pretty early and we got there late because our bus was late. So I didn't get to shop as much as I wanted to but I did get this bag. So I'm going to be using this bag today instead of my really tiny one. So that's good. <laughs> few moments later Baba Boy I got a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I got it and it didn't really hurt. So that's great. I'm probably gonna get so many tattoos now. It's a poster. It looks looks like this one. Yeah, it looks like purple. Well, it's either Nagi. Yeah, it might be Nagi then.
Okay guys, we are back for the day. So as you saw in those previous clips, I got a tattoo, which I'll show you guys in a second. And we kind of walked around Akihabara, but it was raining and that's like the anime city, but it really wasn't hitting like I was hoping it would. I had this vision in my head of stuff that I wanted to buy and then I like walked in the store and it was all like figurines of like Demon Slayer and One Piece and like anime that I didn't really care about. Like I was walking around a bunch of different stores and I think at the only anime I recognize that I like is Blue Lock and like I didn't see any like of the oldie but goodie ones like D. Grayman is my favorite one which is related to the tattoo that I got today because I'm in Japan and I wanted to get something related to Japan and something that I like in Japan you know and they didn't have any merch for that so I'm like if this is the birthplace of D. Grayman why the fuck is there no D. Grayman merch like I get it's not popular anymore because the show came out forever ago but okay One Piece came out forever ago and there's One Piece galore. It's just annoying. And like a lot of the shows I just didn't even recognize like period. So I'm like, what anime do I even know? Clearly not that much. But it seems like anime that's popular in the US isn't as popular in Japan. So we did that and then we got lunch obviously after the tattoo. I just got this like Miyazaki fried chicken I think is what it was called. And then some Daifuku mochi things which was yummy. And ginger ale. They serve ginger ale like every restaurant we go to which I love ginger ale so I love it. But it makes me wonder like is ginger ale a Japanese creation? Like I had no idea I always drink. <laughs> I had no idea and I always drink Canada dry so I just assumed like okay ginger ale is from Canada. Or at least that brand is I'm sure. And like Seagram's. It doesn't sound like a Japanese name. So I don't know, maybe it originated in Japan and these are just Western versions of it. What do I know? I'm stupid. So yeah, I'll show you my tattoo. I'll insert photos of it, but I'm also going to show you with my camera. It's cute, so the meaning behind it is just from this manga panel from D. Grayman. And they're like the tease butterflies that Tiki uses. If you know what I'm talking about, this might just be nonsense words to you if you've never seen D. Grayman, but they're just like these butterfly creatures that are kind of in it, not really that much. But it's just like Tiki uses them. And he's just like a character in the show. Anyway, I just thought it was cute and also it's just like butterflies. So to the average person, they're like, oh, I like your little butterflies. So, you know. There's that too. And I got one black one, one red one because I like the color red, I like the color black. I thought it would be fun to have a color tattoo. The tattoo artist I went to was really great. She's She was super cute. And the tattoo place is called the Good Cat Scratch. I don't know if y'all are local to Japan and would ever visit, but it was in Nakameguru. Her name was Winnie, Winnie Greeny on Instagram. Hopefully she posts the photos of my tattoo on her Instagram. If she hasn't already, this video I know is gonna come out way after I just got the tattoo, so she might have posted them on there, so you can check that on Instagram out. I also post on my Instagram too. I've been posting every day in Japan, so. But that's all come out before you even see this video, so you can go to my Instagram, ala.ina, to see it if you really care. And so now it's like 7.43 p.m. And I'm probably gonna walk around the Shinokubo area. I did it a little bit last night, but I didn't realize everything closed at like 10. So I like only just started at like 9.30ish. So I didn't get a lot of time to shop around. But I'm gonna try again tonight 
because I have more time. But it is kind of raining, which is a little bit annoying. And it's also our last day in Tokyo. So tomorrow we're waking up at like 5.30 a.m. to take a Shinkansen, which is like a bullet train, to Kyoto. And it takes like two hours, two and a half hours maybe. So I have to like pack up all my stuff too, which... I brought two luggages, but I don't know if I really needed to. I probably could have just done with the one bigger one instead of the smaller one and the bigger one. So I really haven't bought as much as I thought that I was going to, mostly because the merch kind of sucks here and I was hoping to buy a lot of anime and K-pop stuff, but maybe I'll buy some K-pop stuff right now. But the issue with that, I don't know if I even talked about this in my video yesterday, but what sucks here is that for K-pop at least, it's all mostly boy groups and I'm a girl group stan, mostly Red Velvet and I feel like that's like a group that isn't promoted as much in like the merch world and in the industry. I feel like people forget about Red Velvet, like they sleep on Red Velvet, like sure they're like a third gen group and everyone only cares about fourth gen groups now and like fifth gen groups and it's really annoying because I like Red Velvet and if I'm in Koreatown, can I please have Red Velvet merch? Like I don't want BTS, I'm sorry, like I love Namjoon, BTS is great, I mean I loved them when I was six. 16, 17, but I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Namjoon though, if you want to date me, hit me up. <laughs> but like, I don't care. And like, I don't care about TXT. I don't care about Espa. I don't care about La Seraphim. Like I care about Red Velvet more than all of those. Like sure, I like them, but it's like, I'm not gonna buy a keychain with Ning Ning from Espa's face on it. Like, I, I don't know her like that if that makes sense. Like I like new jeans too, but I feel like I wouldn't buy that much new jeans stuff. I did see a twice spoon, which is a little bit weird, but I only would have bought a spoon if it was red velvet and then I would have a red velvet spoon. I do love twice. It's just, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't buy it. So yeah, hopefully they have red velvet stuff. I looked at a few of the stores, but not that many. And like the last store I had walked into, he like started pulling the gate down on, on the store to like close it, but I did see a red velvet sign, but then I didn't see any red velvet product near that sign. So I was like, um, okay. But at least they mentioned red velvet <laughs> at that store. So maybe if I walked in a little bit more, there would be red velvet stuff, but I really doubt it. But I'm gonna check tonight and see, because it's my last day in Tokyo. And yeah, I don't know if I'll like get a fun snack or something. Who knows? I just like bodied a little carton of banana milk, so I'm not really hungry. But yeah, that's my update. I don't know if I'll film anything. I, I guess I will a little bit. So you'll see me shopping a little bit in Shinokubo. So see you in the next clip. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. 